Hey guys, it's Advanced Logic. Welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. In the last part, we made our way all the way, uh, I don't know, we fought Jaeger and we made our way all the way back here to Torum Harbor and we lost the, uh, we lost them and all this other crap and now everyone's split up and more friggin' talking. Oh, and I'm also recording this on the one year anniversary that I've been doing Let's Plays, so hooray! Anyway, you just look over here, light bottle, and guess what? You have to talk to every single person in the party. And believe me, I've tried talking, so I, I've tried checking if I could just skip it all. I can't. Shit. <laughs> anyway, let's just... What's the matter, boss? Hmm, I don't know if I like you calling me that. Want me to call you boy? Nah, I don't know. Boss is the boss. What, could you, what would you have me call you instead? Just call me whatever you called me before. This boss thing seems a little over the top. Makes me feel silly to have you calling me that. Don't you think you'll get used to it? Well, maybe. Well, you know you know way more about guilds than I do, right? I guess. The boss of a guild has to stand as a role model for everyone else. I wonder if I could be that great of a person. Come on, it's not like you're expected to be the best boss ever from the very beginning. You can take a little uh, time. Right now, our, gu our guild has a job to complete. You're right. First, we need to take Stella to meet Pharaoh. Do you think we'll be able to meet him? Me? No. <laughs> our guild's job is to figure out a way to meet him. If we can meet, if we can't meet him, we won't get our reward, and people will lose confidence in our abilities. That's all there is to it. I think we may have picked something a little too tough for our first job. It's more of a challenge that way, and our reward will be that much bigger too. Let's make the best of it. Yeah. Carol, you're still pathetic as ever. I see. Even after I've been doing Let's Plays for a year, you still seem really pathetic to me. Anyway, you just go into this room right here, and you get to talk to Rita. How do I know this? Because I did a test run of this beforehand, so I think there was something here. Yep. Check over here for a mat, and let's talk to Rita. Do you really plan on helping Estelle find that pharaoh or whatever? Yeah, I guess so. Didn't that thing say that Estelle was an insipid poison or something? Yeah, I heard. After something like that, I guess you can't just tell her to forget about the whole thing. But it wouldn't help her if she uses that as an, as an excuse to not deal with the issue of the succession to the throne. Yeah, I'm worried that might happen. But what are you talking about? That's what is happening. Yeah, maybe. But, you're saying I should take her back to the castle? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. It was her decision. We had to let her figure out what she, really, what she should really do. You realize it might come to blows with this pharaoh guy, right? She won't get to figure out anything at all if she dies. <laughs> anyway, she's not going to die, and that's why I'm going with her. Ah, have it your way, then. God damn it, for some reason now I want Burger King. Rita, were you paid to say that line? I won't judge you if you did. Ah, who am I kidding? Yeah, I will judge you. Anyway, you just make your way out here, and the rest of the party is out here. And repeat. Yeah, I'm not even going to try doing his thing. I said I'll deal with things in my way of doing, but I let Q Moore escape that easily. What a shame. I don't know how I could explain this to Flynn. I know, I know. We have we have Gil's job to deal with rather than can you... Yeah. We have Gil's job to deal with. That's weird. I don't know why it's weird to me. Yeah, I can't just let him loose. Men of his kind will never learn and will always repeat the same thing forever. I'll have to do something. I left the Empire and formed a guild for this kind of purpose. He will get what he deserves. Oh, he will, alright. Um, I guess you could say he'll get the... Rago treatment. Hey, 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 hey. Anyway. Oh, are you going to look for that Kimur guy by any chance? Nah, just going for a walk. Where were you? Just out for a walk, like you. What you said to Estelle earlier hasn't been gnawing at you, has it? What I said earlier? Didn't you say some pretty harsh things to Estelle? Oh, right. Sorry to beat you to the punch like that. What? You didn't beat me to the punch on anything. You were going to tell her the same thing that I did, weren't you? What, you figured it out? You don't have to apologize for something like that. Alright. So you weren't off going off to look for Kimura after feeling bad about hurting Estelle with what you said? No, I wasn't. Huh. You don't believe me? You care for other people's feelings a lot more than you let on, I think. No, not at all. Well, whatever. What about you? Aren't you going out to look for him? 
I told you already. I'm just going for a walk. Damn right you're going for a walk, Yuri. A manly walk that... A manly vigilante walk. Anyway, over here is Estelle. I'm just incorrigible. Whenever something or someone catches my eye, I forget all about everything else. I really lose sight of everything I was planning on doing beforehand. Yep, that's about right. I came to my senses after Judith told me. Until now, I've been dragging the rest of you around with me like there's no tomorrow. Hey, it could be worse. If you were Empress, one word from you and the entire Empire would run off to do your bidding. Yeah, hmm. I kind of feel like coming with you was the right choice. Oh, yeah? I've been able to see all sorts of new things. I still don't know whether I'm going to take the Imperial Throne, but... You know what I just realized? Even the women have my weird, crappy voice. There's still so many things left to learn about in this world. And yes, yes, I know I made a crappy joke about me having a monot monotonous voice. I don't know. Pharaoh's one of those things? It scares me to think about it, but I have to know who I am. I have to know what he meant by saying I was the insipid poison of this world. It sounds like you made up your mind. Yuri? Hmm? I might end up trying to order you guys around again. Next time I do that, yell at me, would you? Heh, <laughs> sure. It's not the sort of personality trait that's easy to fix by yourself. Though there's another guy who's also on a tough... Uh, nah, who's also a tough nut to crack, so I think we'll let him be the one we vent our frustration on. Well, I'm going back to the end now, see you. wonder if he was talking about Carol. Because God damn it, Carol. Yeah, screw it. I'll just stop jabbing at Carol for now. Let's look for everyone else. Actually, I think the only one left is Ra Raven. So then from there, we're sh we should be good. Here's Raven. Uh, I can't believe we had to travel with you. What, you ain't happy? Well, I'm not exactly jumping for joy. You're too glum. Lighten up. Didn't I stand together with you in the face of evil? That was only because you had to. I still haven't forgotten what you did at Nor Harbor. Still remember that? Some people just don't know when to give up. I'm not about to make a list of all your offenses. Saying that I'd rather not have you company our, on our trip is already more than enough. Don't worry, don't worry, I'll be on my best behavior. I behaved myself a cave mock and a gas for us, didn't I? Yeah, that sure would be nice. What should worry you more is whether or not these old bones will be able to keep up with you youngins for much longer. You plan on sticking with us until Estelle go back, blah, goes back to the castle? <laughs> the Don ordered me to keep an eye on the girl. I ain't, going, I ain't got much choice in the matter. Sounds like a tough job. I wonder if I could hand her over to the Imperial tonight somewhere. I can see it in your eyes, old man. You're thinking bad thoughts again. No, not at all. Well, it's really too bad that you're going to be traveling with us, but might as well make the best of it. What do you mean, really too bad? Mm, well, whatever. Anyway, Raven the Great is going back to the inn. Later, boy. Boy. I gotta stop doing that. So, so we don't like your guy around here, boy. Nah, I'm kidding. That would be fucking creepy if one of the characters said it like that. I'm like, holy shit. When was this? And I would be, I don't know. I would be laughing, in all honesty. I would be fucking laughing if one of the characters said that. I'm like, holy shit. It's like, we don't like your Critian kind around here. I'm like, hey, do this Critian. Critian. You don't talk shit about her? Nah, screw it. Let's just, you guys here in my squeaky chair? Sounds like I'm getting busy. Nah, I'm kidding. Let's just go onward. What should we do about Rita? That one has her own matters to attend to. That sounds about right. At least their voice acting. Finally, I'm get to stop talking. <laughs> so, first to the harbor and then find a boat? Oh, she seems happy. Huh? You mean... Are you coming too? Yeah. Wasn't there something you had to go do? You were going to investigate the air crane, weren't you? It turns out the one at Cave Mock the Commandant asked me to look into has already been researched. I hadn't really made up my mind about which route to take to research the others. So you'll be using us to help with your investigations? Well, there's no guarantee I won't run into trouble like back at Heliord. Anyway, it'll be safer for me this way than going alone. Nice to see your glowing personality hasn't changed. And that's awesome. This means we'll be able to travel together again. I'm so happy. Yeah, I, um, you know, it's no big deal. Stop blushing! Why do you blush? Anyway, we were going to the harbor, right? I don't know. Ah, to be young again, I tell you. Raven knows what I mean. You got 
something you want to say? Yeah. You act like a lesbian. No offense to any lesbians, I swear. Whoa, down girl. To the harbor then. And everyone's back in the party. Good. Making sure everything's all good, nice and good here. And let's make our way back. Out of this joint. Out of this blunt. I don't know. Anyway, I think I remember there was like some equipment that we got. Uh, there we go. Because I did like a little s run before all this, so I just gotta make sure everyone's got their shit together. Damn, Yuri still got us to learn Combo Plus and all this other crap. He's got that Smash Bow, Raymond's got the Karama. Carol, you suck. Blue Dragon, blah 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 blah. That should be good. I remember I could synthesize some other crap too, but... Oh yeah, Blue Dragon plus one. That I definitely want to get, but I need two broken daggers. Hmm, I might do that off screen sometime at some point, but eh, it's probably not worth it. Hmm. Yes. Oh wait, I remember what I was going to do. While I'm here, I might as well stock up on apple gels. Maybe not panacea bottles, and life bottles. And a magic lens. And some holy bottles, just in case, I doubt any... I doubt I actually need those, but they're for future occasions when I'm really tired of... grinding and all that. So let's just make our way over here. And another cutscene. Oh, Yoder! Oh, it's you all. We meet again. So what's a successor to the Imperial Throne doing in a place like this? I've been working with the Dawn to officially seal our Treaty of Friendship. Is it going well? Well, I wish I could say it were going better. I can imagine. That Heracles monstrosity kind of made the Union really not like the Empire. Yes. And now, prominent members of the Empire are voicing their doubts regarding the Friendship Treaty. The conditions the Dawn gave the Empire were for a Treaty of Equality, after all. And they are certainly not on equal footing with something like that. Yes. Had I known about Heracles beforehand, I could have stopped them, but... You didn't know about that thing? You're in line to be Emperor. I know, but I have no authority over the Imperial Knights. The Imperial Knights act on orders from the Emperor alone. They do not report to anyone else. Well then, it's easy. Just become Emperor. You mean... Damn it, Yuri! Becoming Emperor isn't as simple as that. Why not? To ascend to the throne, one must possess the Imperial treasure, Dane Nomos. But Dane Nomos went missing around the time of the Great War, ten years ago. Huh. So that's the real story why we still don't have an Emperor. And that's why Rago wanted to get his hands on Dane Nomos. <laughs> Yuri, shut the fuck up! What was that, Yuri? Forget it, it's nothing. Anyway, is it really okay for an Imperial candidate to be wandering the streets like this? I was just on my way to Helior. Huh, that is closer to Dongress than this place is. Negotiations would probably go smoother there. I believe so too. Master Yoder, we should be off. If you'll please excuse me. <sighs> We're just like, what? What the fuck, Estelle? Why are you sighing? Because Yuri, you done fucked up. Why the hell did you have to say that in front of Estelle? Against that many? I wouldn't do that even if crazy. I had nine lives. What's going on? Halt! If you Hot want to do what I paid you for, then I want my money back. Add the indigo beasts to the blacklisted guilds. Indigo beasts? What the yes, fuck kind of name impression. is that? Isn't that the woman we met at Dayton Hold? Yeah, that's her, all right. Why do you guys know her? We just met her once a while back. Is she a friend of yours? I wouldn't say I know her. She's the president of Fortune's Market, one of the five master guilds. In other words, she's one of the top dogs at the Union. <laughs> hey, I just got an idea! What's up, Carol? Maybe she could get a boat for us to take across to Desier. Desier. Actually, and I also remember something. If I remember correctly, you could use something with these warehouses, but I can't... But through my entire run that I ever did of this game, I never really got access to it. I think it has something to do with Carol or something. I don't know. 
Hey. You little bitch. Ah, screw it. What the hell is Carol doing in first place anyway? Let's just continue onward with the rest of the game. And let's talk to the hot glasses lady. Hello. Hello. Well, if it isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell, you've come at just the right time. Huh. I guess those wanted posters really do work. Listen, I've got a job that would be just perfect for you. Hard labor, huh? I like a man who can cut to the chase. As you may have heard, schools of mermen often attack cargo ships at this time of year. Huh? But I thought there was another guild that always served as your escort. It seems the leader of the mercenary guild I hire passed away suddenly, so they aren't available. The other guardian guild simply has no backbone. I don't know what to do. What was the name of that guardian guild you mentioned? The Blood Alliance. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what could have happened to them. You're all as guilty as I am. That is true. Hate to disappoint you, but we're in the middle of something right now, so see you around. Wait, Yuri, what about the boat? Hmm? Did you say boat? We've made a guild of our own. We're called Brave Vesperia. That's a wonderful name. Damn right. Well then, shall we talk business? Mutual gain is one of the basics of all business, you know. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Sorry, but like I said, we're in the middle of a job. We can't take on anything else right now. I had an opportunity to make a super bad reference when when she said the whole scratch my back, I scratch yours. Nah, fuck it. We won't call it business then. Let's just say we'll cooperate as two guilds helping each other out. That way we won't be going against any guild principles. There are various incentives for getting along with me, you know. Hmm. Um, well... Take it up, Carol. Take it up. Take it up. All right, we can talk, but we need to go to Nordopolica. We can't afford any detours. Fine with me. The mermen are only a problem in the waters near here. As long as I get to another port, I'm good. Once we arrive, I won't have any trouble making arrangements with another ship. Wow, she means business. Literally. Well, yeah. So, do we have a deal? I have the sinking feeling we just got tricked into something. <laughs> Get it? Sinking? Because it's a boat. Fortune's Market isn't known as the best group of salesmen under the sun for nothing. This isn't so bad. Now we have a way to cross over to Desier. I'll even throw in a bonus for all of you. Bonus? What do you mean? If we arrive safely in Nordopolica, I'll give you the boat we used to get there. That is a good fucking deal. Take it. Really? Take it! The boat looks pretty beat up, but it's still a good deal. Right? So these mermen must be pretty tough customers if you're willing to part with the boat. I'll leave that to your imagination. I figured as much. Marvelous. We have a contract then. Yeah. Now that we've settled the details, I'd like you to get to work right away. Just let me know when you've made your preparations. And that's why I bought all that crap ahead of time. So I think we're pretty good on stuff. As for stuff... Oh yeah. <laughs> Fucking Carol, you coward. Anyway, I'm just gonna stop it at this part. So uh, next time on Tales of Vesperia, we're gonna be crossing the continents and all that crap. So see you guys then.